Well, let's have a look at the parable of the ten meaners from Luke's Gospel, chapter 19. So let's have a look, reading from verse 12. So Jesus said, A man of noble birth went to a distant country to have himself appointed king and then to return. So he called ten of his servants and he gave them ten meaners. So there's one I prepared earlier. Let's see if these stand up. Okay, I've got five. Well, that's not bad. And that makes ten. There we go. That'll do. All holding hands. You get ten meaners. Okay. So a meaner is worth the equivalent of about three months' wages for farm labour. So we've got ten. There we are. All get equal measures. All right, that'll do. Money to work, he said, until I come back. But his subjects hated him and he sent a delegation after him to say, We don't want this man to be our king. Well, oh, that's a bit harsh. He was made king, however, good, and returned home. Then he sent for the servants to whom he had given the money. Here we go. In order to find out what they had gained with it. Fair enough. The first one came and said, Sir, your Mina has earned. 10 more, so number one here, he earns another 10. Well done, that one at the end. He has been busy, or she, they have been busy. Okay, then what? Well done, my good servant, exclamation mark. I like that. His master replied, because you have been trustworthy in a very small matter, take charge of 10 cities. Oh, that's very generous. The second one came, this one, let's see what happened with that, and said, Sir, your Mina has earned five more. Not bad, not bad. Pretty busy. Number two there. That's okay. His master answered, You take charge of five cities. That's very generous. Then another servant came and said, That's interesting, this is NIV, another servant. NOSB, closer to Greek translation, says, and the other servant. So, Bible scholars think it's a culmination of two stories here. Look into that how you want it. Then another servant came and said, Sir, here is your Mina. Okay, so number three. He goes, There you are, there's your Mina. I've kept it laid away in a piece of cloth. Okay, that's fair enough. So, let's pop it in a piece of cloth. It's all safe. In there. I was afraid of you because here you are a hard man. Danger here of thinking of God like this, it's not intended like that. You take out what you did not put in and you reap what you did not sow. His master replied, I will judge you by your own words, you wicked servant. <sighs> in trouble now. You knew, did you? That I am a hard man, taking out what I did not put in, and I'm reaping what I did not sow. And why didn't you put my money on deposit? There we go. So that when I came back, I could have collected it with interest. And he said to those standing by, take his meaning away from him. Wow, okay. Take it away. I give it to the one who has ten meaners. What? What's going on here? Sir, they replied, he already has ten. Rightly so. He replied, I tell you that to everyone who has, more will be given. But as for the one who has nothing, even what they have will be taken away. Whew. That's harsh. Well, those enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, bring them here and kill them in front of me. What? That's, that's, wow. Okay, let's leave it at that. Parable of the Ten Meaners. God bless you. The Lord, he loves you. Have a great day.